Ready to start? Alright, let's begin. So please sit down and take out your pencil. Please sit down and take out your pencil. Also make Okay. So everyone has their pencil in their dictionary. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to take out your pencil and write your name and your class at the top of your worksheet, please. Write your name and your class at the top of the worksheet. Okay, very good. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to review today's goal. We are going to review today's goal, which is up on the board, where it usually is. And today's goal is actually rather simple. So we all remember what goal is in Japanese, right? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> um, we all remember what goal is in Japanese, right? Who can tell me what is goal in Japanese? Goal in Japanese. One, two, three. All together. One, two, three. Mokyo, right? So please write down today's goal in the today's goal area. So if you already have, very good. Please, everyone else, maybe write down today's goal. Today's goal. Today's goal. So again, to be able to communicate, or so, sorry, to be able to use present conditional grammar to communicate, oh, a little bit got raised. So real and unreal. Does anyone know what is real in Japanese? Does anyone know what that means in Japanese? Real. Real. Anyone? Raise your hand if you have a guess. Five, four, three, two, one. Any guesses? Any guesses for what real is? Anyone? No guesses? Okay, so everyone please take out your dictionary and stand up. When you find real, you may sit down. When you find real, you may sit down.
two, relax, very good, yay, relax, I like to relax, so remember, relax is a verb, to relax, to calm down, very good, alright, second example, second example, right here, so, if I feel lonely, I call my family, if I feel lonely, I call my family. So if I feel lonely, I call my family. Okay, let's fill it in. So first word, what's that? Everyone all together, let's fill it in together. So, one, two, three. Good. If I feel, if I feel lonely, I call good my family. Yay. Okay, so these are the two example sentences uh, for real present conditional, real present conditional. So notice we have two key words here, when and if, when and if. These are the most important words in this grammar because these words make this grammar conditional, right? They make it conditional. So um, other than these two words, what else do you notice about these sentences? So, uh, so maybe take a uh, 30 seconds and talk with your partner. What is similar about these two sentences? What is similar about the grammar? Okay? So, Sanju, un, dry, Alright? So, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Talk to your partner. What is similar? You may answer in Japanese if you wish. What is similar about these two sentences? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, let's see... Natsumi! <laughs> Natsumi, what do you think? <laughs> so what can you tell me about the tense? <laughs> Not okay. I must not. Okay. Genzai Kei, very good. So present tense, present tense. That's one thing I want you to notice. Present tense. So when I finish work, I like to relax. Or when I feel lonely, I call my family. So not calling or called. It's call. So it's simple present. Simple present. So for this grammar, for real conditional grammar, Uh, it's very simple. We would use when or if at first, and then a statement in simple present, followed by a statement in simple present. So when this happens, this happens. Okay? So when I finish work, so if you're, uh, I like to relax. What's relaxing in Japanese? I forget. Um, anyway, so it's two <laughs> statements. So if this happens, this happens. Okay? You guys understand? So the sample grammar would look something like this. So if or when, and then a statement in simple present. And then simple present.
And then if is for things we do that are rare. Because you're not lonely all the time, right? So if I am lonely, I call my family. So it's the most So it's just a rare. Yeah? Okay? You guys understand? So when is for regular things, and if is for something that is rare. If is for something that is rare. So rare wa imi wakarimasu ka? Regular to rare, imi wakarimasu ka? No? Okay, so, uh, let's see. Let's look up uh, regular in your dictionary, okay? So everyone please stand up and look up regular. So, uh, let's tell those guys in the back, what is regularly in Japanese? Who can tell me what is regularly in Japanese? Uh, let's see. Aimi, what is regularly in Japanese? Do you know? Do you know? Maybe not. I haven't found it just yet. Uh, let's see. Natsuko. Oh, very good. So, did everyone hear? Did everyone hear? Say it one more time. Nice and loud. So, say it one more time. Nice and loud, please. Oh, very good. Very good. So, regularly is something that happens often. It happens often. Rarely is the opposite. It does not happen as often. So it's the opposite. So when I finish work, so I finish work every day. I finish work every day. I like to relax. But if I feel lonely, I feel lonely not that, like not so often. I call my family. Okay, I call my family. That's what I want you to understand. All right. So with that in mind, with that in mind, I want us now to do a bit of practice. Let's do a little bit of practice and try and use today's grammar. So please look down at the you try. Please look down at the you try. So now I want you to think of how you would complete uh, this sentence. So the first you try is, when I have a test, and then what do you do? So when you have a test, what do you do? The second one is, if I go to Kagoshima City, what do you do? Okay? Alright, so maybe take, I'm going to give you, it's a little bit simple, so three minutes. Three minutes and try and complete the you try at the bottom. So the bottom of your page, you try. So when I have a test. Oh, very good. Yes, yeah, give him a hand. Yeah. And let's hear an example for the second question. Eighty. Erika. 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 If you go to Kagoshima City, what do you do? I go to The whole sentence? Oh. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah, give her a hand. Okay guys, any questions about real conditional? Any questions about real conditional? None? Okay, let's move on to unreal. Let's move on to unreal conditional. So please turn your paper over. Please turn your paper over. So unreal conditional. So these things are real. They happen often. So itsumo uh, kono like unreal, unreal, like if I had a million dollars or if I was taller. So in that case, everyone please listen carefully and dictate the two example sentences, okay? Please dictate the two example sentences. So first sentence, if I was taller, or were taller, if I were taller, I would be a great volleyball player. If I were taller, I would be a great volleyball player. Oh yeah, 
let's read it together. First one. Everyone? Would be a great volleyball good. Player. Very good. So if I were taller, I would be a great volleyball player. So take notice of wood. Take notice of wood. It's special for this grammar. Alright, next. I would buy a new car if I had money. I would buy, so second sentence, a new car if I had money. If I had money. Alright, let's fill it in. So, I, good, I would buy a new car, if, good, I had good money. Alright, so I would buy a new car if I had money. So really quickly, with your friend, uh, or, sorry, so what is similar between these two sentences, but different from these two? So what's similar about these two, but different from these two? Talk to your friends. Go, 30 seconds. <laughs> So what's similar about these two? What's similar? You can tell me. Anyone? Yamurei. Okay. Shoma. Let's hear it. Okay, good. But which K? Which tense? Hmm? Hmm. 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 So if I were taller, I would be a great bat or volleyball player. I'd be a great volleyball player. So in this case, it's if simple past, if simple past, with would plus simple uh, or present. So and then this one would be would simple past, and if simple pre or uh, soon. Sorry, mix that up again. So, would simple present and if simple past. Okay? So, the key words for this grammar are if and would. You need to use both of them in your sentence. So, if you use if first, you need to use would in the second part of your sentence. Whereas, if you use would first, you need to use if in the second part of your sentence. So still two actions, two things, two conditions. Alright? So any questions? So we're a little bit low on time, so uh, let's move on to the you try, and hopefully that will help you guys get it. So in the back, look at the you try, we have two questions today. So I would be happy, and then what would happen? And then if I had a million yen. Alright? If I had a million yen. And also one that you can make yourself. One that you can make yourself at the bottom. So, let's take uh, five minutes and do this. Five minutes. I would, and then simple present. Simple present. Genzai K. Right? But if, the if section, if I were taller, were wa kakoke, okay? So you're using two different ones when you do this. So it's a little bit confusing, I know. All right, let's hear a few example sentences. Let's hear a few example sentences. Uh, Ketsuke. Oh, you already went. Sorry. Uh, uh, Minami. Minami. Uh, read us your first example. Good, so if I had free time, so if I had, so do I, yeah? 
So I would be happy to rock hands again if I had redone a couple of hands. Good job. Good job. Give your hand. All right, next. Next one. Next one. Uh, Uh, say ya. I good. I good. I could be happy if I was great tennis player. Oh, you good? Yeah, you good man. Uh, let's see. Ayaka. Ayaka, can you read your second sentence? Second sentence. If I had a million yen. Oh, sorry, a billion yen. So if you had a billion yen. I would buy the new clothes. So you buy new clothes. Yeah. Clothes. Very good. Yay. So I would buy, buy la genzake, new clothes, right? Okay, so any questions? You guys seem a little bit nervous, slash, you don't understand. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, let's move on. We're not going to be able to finish this activity, but I want us to start it, and then we can finish it for the warm-up for next class, okay? All right, so I got a very important piece of mail for each and every one of you in my mailbox today. So I was hoping that you guys could, uh, could read the piece of mail that you got. So can everyone please take a look at the mail I got for you in my mailbox today? It seemed pretty important because it was from uh, uh, JAXA. It seemed pretty important. So, here from NASA and also from the uh, J J A X A, J the Japan version of NASA. So, who wants? I'll read the English part, uh, part of it, and someone can read the Japanese part. So, for the English part of it, dear applicants, it is my profound joy to inform you that you have been accepted to the uh, J A X A training for our first ever lunar mission. Due to the urgency of this mission. Uh, we must request that you leave Kagoshima the day after tomorrow. Oh no, so soon. Um, your training plus the lunar mission will last one year. I am sorry if this is inconvenient. Uh, I look forward to meeting you at our training facilities in Houston, Texas, USA. Sincerely, uh, Shigeno Nasuda. Shigeno Nasuda. Oh, so who wants to read the Japanese section of that? Thank you. 